All right, how's it going, YouTubers? Um, uh, I guess we'll set to Kiyo, I'm a, I'm a fine art painter. And for those of you who don't know me, uh, who haven't seen my videos yet, I'm kind of doing this uh, short videos to share my some of my process and, and just, just some of the stuff that I do here in my studio. So I hope that I hope that you guys enjoy it. And uh, oh, hold on. First things first. I got my Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had a landscape, um, impressionist landscape uh, painting, type of impressionist, I guess. It's more loose brush work. I mean, what is, you know, what is impressionism? It's, uh, I think that it's open for interpretation, you know? I want to do some uh, bushes. I just went to the uh, Phoenix. I, I live in Tucson, so I just went to the Phoenix Art Museum to to witness um, Kehendi Wiley's paintings, and I was blown away. I was just mesmerized by that. Such a such a vision, you know, and not just not just the vision, which you know we most of us get stuck in that, like oh my God, what well, the artist, you know, what was the artist going through thinking, or in order to come up with such a strong voice and you know vision ideas or whatever. More than that, what what baffled me, or made me uh really inspired me was the follow through of the artist. I saw some of the paintings where that that couple of paintings that that you could tell that the artists they were older. I mean of course I had the year that they were older, but uh not that much older, but you could tell that the artists were still um I don't want to use the word amateur because by no means I don't think I don't think he was an amateur. I just don't think that the level of commitment on the vision was there completely. It was kind of cooking, you know. And then I saw some of the paintings after that that were just, it was mind-blowing to see someone commit to, uh, to their vision so strongly and so widely. So that, that to me, I mean, that to me is, is, is everything about an artist. It's the level of commitment. It's not, you know, and not just an artist. I mean, you see it in a, in a, in a, in a you know. I was, I was telling my wife this uh, as we were driving back home. You, you never hear athletes. I, I've never heard anyway. But I, I like some, uh, I like some boxing and, and uh, Soccer, mainly box. <laughs> I'm not a big uh, sports fan, but when I when I when I do see some uh, some boxing matches, I I enjoy how at the end, for the most part, the either the winner or the loser, it doesn't matter. They'll if they're true to themselves, they'll say something along these lines. You know, here we prove who trained the most and who made the most sacrifice. You know. And I like it that they don't say they they don't they don't say oh it's because I'm better or because you know I want because I'm better you know some some might say that and it's fine there's nothing wrong with that but I like sometimes when they when they uh, just say the truth you know when they say the truth uh, of the of what it took to win and usually you hear them say oh here you know in the ring we. We proved who trained more, or who sacrificed the most, you know, who put in, who put more time, more effort, more sweat, more blood into it. And that, uh, I think that pretty much sums it all. For me, it does. It sums it all. That, for me, that was Kehendi, you know. He, 
he really put the hours and the effort and the vision, the the work. It wasn't some um, conceptual idea, and even if it is, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bash a conceptual artist in no mean, by no means at all. You have conceptual artists who really put in the work. Anyone, I think, it doesn't matter who they are. As long as they they create any sort of success, it's because they put they 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 put in the work. And that, to me, goes beyond um, goes beyond the whole oh how beautiful it is or 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 look at the shadow here or look at that there oh you know I don't I I don't really care much about that I I like I like the heart of the individual the push the drive and the heart of the individual. To me, that's the that's the artist. Because there are many artists who have um, uh, who have uh, talent, I guess, quote unquote, whatever that means, you know, or 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 maybe they they got good at something, but they don't really um, they're not they don't make themselves known, or or you know they don't they don't they don't push. You know, however, however they do, whether they, they they do it very then, or I mean, push is push. It doesn't matter how you do it. You know, or they attract the right people or whatever they do, but they make things happen. And that's one of the reasons I love Coons. I, a lot of people talk, you know, about Coons. They're like, oh, he's a sellout, this and that. Whatever you want to say about the man, he's got a drive like very few, almost no other. Another one is Chuck Close. You know, I love how Chuck Close refers to. Uh, I said it, I said it before um, when he talks about. I used to ask him about uh, inspiration, and he said amateurs wait for inspiration. The rest of us uh, just show up, or a variation of that. You know, something like that. But he said something along those lines. It doesn't matter, but you, you get the point. It's it's. Uh, He's talking about that again. He's talking about not just the, the oh the professionalism. Yeah, it's, it's not just the professionalism. It's such a vague word when we hear professionalism. It's people who have their their standards are very high, and and that to me is uh, you know they're very strong individuals. They're not your they're not your typical painter. They're not the guy who who. Who sits there and paints one painting and then hopes that the world will know them because of how genius they are? I certainly behaved like that guy when I first uh, started painting, and that'll get you that'll get you nowhere if you behave like that. It'll get you nowhere. It'll it'll get you to start making sense of why things are not happening and start accumulating reasons, excuses of why things are not working out for you. So uh, I don't even want to see me paint here, but I know some artists uh, look at this video, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's, uh, that is the reason why I think of Henry Whiteley is such a great painter. Uh, of course he's a good painter. Of course he's got the craft down. Of course he's got the concept and the idea and whatever. But more than that, he's a strong individual. And that that sets him apart. That's what makes a great artist I think. How strong you are. How how do you make things happen or do you just talk about them? Do you make excuses about them or do you actually make things happen? Do you have an idea, a vision of what or what an exhibit or, or or a collection of work or whatever it is that you're trying to do in your career or your business or whatever it is. Do you just talk about it or do you get it done? And that to me is the mark of a true artist. That is why that is why Picasso, every time he was asked uh, about artwork, he you know, he even <laughs> he went as, uh, as far as uh, uh, saying that you know, give me a give me a museum and I'll fill it up. He wasn't talking just about that. Oh, I'll just I'll you know I'm I'm that desperate or any other stuff that people may think about. 
or I just paint whatever. I paint crap, that's why I can fill it up so fast. Some people have that idea. No, it's talking about his commitment. He's like, give me a museum and watch my commitment. That's what I believe he was talking about. Give me a museum. I'm such a machine. I'm so committed to what I do that this is how this is how I show it. I show it with action. I don't talk about it. I really can talk about it. it. Doesn't matter. But I don't just talk about it. You know, that's that's the message right there. I love that message. You know, you can't. It's, it's, it's a muscle. You can't, you can't buy that level of commitment. And that's what I loved about Kehendi. And while I was there, I was looking at another painting, like uh, uh, Edgar Payne. Man, beautiful brushwork. And, and uh, simplicity also. Very simple. Very simple. I like that. When I see the, the, the paintings on the books or the... Um, online, they don't. They, they 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 look more complicated when you're when you're in front of them. You can see the simplicity. I saw also a portrait. I haven't seen a portrait in years. I, last last portrait I saw of um, of John Singer Sargent was at the in the Met, Madame X. I think Madame X. Yeah, was the last one I saw. Yes, yes. The day before yesterday, I saw another one of an older older man, and and you get. You get far away, it puts it, it puts it together. You get close, and I'm not just talking about impressions, I'm talking about the simplicity. You get close to it, and you know he developed a system, intentionally or unintentionally, where where simplicity, because if he wasn't simple, he wasn't going to be able to get it done. You know, I, I believe that if it wasn't simple, there was no way to get it done, or to get so many of them done. So I like that about young finger surgeons as well. Many people complicate themselves too much, you know. I've certainly been on that side. Many people complicate themselves too much. It's not that complicated. All right, here you go. My name is Jose Trujillo, and I just wanted to show you one of my landscapes. Thank you so much for watching. Here, let me, let me do this. <laughs> there we go. All right. If you guys want to check out more of my work, visit uh, eBay and on the search box type in my name Jose Trujillo it's J-O-S-E last name T-R-U-J-I-L-L-O Jose Trujillo thank you so much and until next time